Have you ever felt a strong bond with the energies surrounding you, wondering if you are more than just a mere observer in this vast universe? In this video, we will uncover subtle indications that you may possess the extraordinary gift of being a spiritual healer. As Dolores Cannon once said, we are all volunteers in this world because we want to be and have a mission to fulfill. For spiritual healers, this mission is to use their exceptional gift to heal others. From being highly empathetic to having a deep connection with nature, each sign serves as a clue that leads you to a deeper understanding of your unique role in the universe. By watching this video, you may receive a message from the universe, so keep an open heart and sharpen your intuition as we explore the 10 clear signs that you are a spiritual healer. If you have gone through challenging times, such as extremely difficult situations, you may possess a special ability as a healer. It's not just about healing a broken heart, we're talking about heavy and intense experiences like near-death scares, abuse, and other tough situations. Although these experiences are not enjoyable, they have the power to transform you into a healer. Here's the thing, going through these difficult times can make you incredibly strong and wise. It's like leveling up in a video game, where each challenge you overcome makes you even stronger. That's exactly what happens to you after surviving these situations. And here's the best part, even when life gets extremely rough, you remain hopeful. It's like having a secret weapon, where you may not have a clear reason to be hopeful, but you just are. This inner strength within you allows you to help others and understand their struggles because you've been there too. You can think of it as superhero training for healers. Through these tough times, you learn more about yourself, become highly empathetic, and get a glimpse into the energy world. It's like turning your pain into power. And if you ever need a boost, talking to another healer can help clear away any lingering negative vibes. So, surviving difficult situations is a sign that you are on your way to becoming an amazing healer. Beginning a journey through the shadows and facing a dark night of the soul may indicate that you are more than just a mere traveler in this world. You could possess the qualities of a healer, a seer, or even embody the archetype of a shaman. The shamanic path, deeply rooted in tradition, often involves a transformative ordeal and a dance with life's most challenging moments. When life takes you to the brink, whether it be through trauma or a soul-shaking experience, it can be a pivotal moment that the shamanic archetype recognizes. Those who have walked through the abyss often return with more than just scars, they carry a profound shift in perspective. Trauma, in its harrowing grip, can momentarily disconnect us from our bodies, opening the door to unseen energies and realms. It's as if the boundaries of the self become more permeable, making one sensitive to the subtle energies that weave through existence. Near-death experiences can also serve as a bridge to the spirit realm and expand one's perception upon returning to life. If you have weathered the storm of a dark night of the soul and emerged with heightened sensitivity and a broader understanding of life, you may embody the essence of a shaman. In the tapestry of healers and seers, your unique journey becomes a guiding light for others navigating their own shadows. Do you ever feel drained in big crowds and noisy places? If so, you are not alone. As a healer, being in bustling places can feel like an energy roller coaster. It's as if you are an energy sponge, absorbing everyone's vibrations. Large crowds can leave you not just tired, but overwhelmed. Your energy is being pulled in a million directions, and you may start to feel off kilter, as if your energy shield is taking hits. Perhaps you have noticed that you often feel unwell or exhausted after visiting a crowded place like a grocery store or a concert. This is because you possess a special ability as a healer, you are highly attuned to the different energies and vibes around you. This is not a sign of weakness, but rather a superpower. So if you need to take a break after a busy day, that is perfectly okay. Your home, with its quiet and comforting atmosphere, is like a recharge station for your incredible healing energy. If you find that you are happiest surrounded by nature, whether it be trees, mountains, or the soothing sounds of the sea, then congratulations, you may be a natural-born healer. Nature is like a second home to you, a place where you feel completely at peace. 
Think about it, the openness of a field, the majestic view of a mountain, or the calming waves of the sea, these are your go-to spots. Nature is not just scenery for you, it is like a friend. You can sense the energy in the trees, mountains, and water, just as they have their own healing vibes. As a healer, you are highly sensitive, and nature is your secret weapon. When life becomes overwhelming, a walk in the woods or a moment by the ocean can recharge your superpowers. It's as if nature, being a living thing, sends out this incredible healing energy, and when you are there, you soak it all in. So if you dream of a home with an open field view, facing a mountain or the sea, away from the hustle and bustle, know that you are not just daydreaming, you are tapping into your healer instincts and finding strength in the beauty of the great outdoors. Being highly sensitive is not just a personality trait, it may be a sign that you are a natural-born healer. You are like an emotional detective, picking up on things that others might miss. Whether it is hearing, seeing, smelling, or feeling, you are tuned into a different frequency. You are not only good at recognizing your own emotions, but you can also sense what others are feeling. It is like having a radar for emotions in knowing if someone is happy, sad, or in need of a helping hand. You are the one who can say, I am here for you, until they are strong enough to be there for themselves. In the world of healing, being an empath is not just about feeling your own emotions. It's about being able to see the strength in others and being like a sponge for their feelings and struggles. This sensitivity is not a weakness, but a superpower that allows you to deeply connect with others and guide them towards healing. If you find yourself feeling and understanding a lot, you may be on the path of a healer. Being a healer means your positivity is not just a mood lifter, but a transformative force that everyone around you can sense. Your mere presence has a magical touch that brightens even the gloomiest of rooms. Your energy has the power to release dense emotions and create a sense of relief for those around you. Your wisdom is also a source of healing, as people find comfort in your words and feel like you always know just what to say. Your presence is like a beacon of light that helps others shed the weight of their troubles. You may not notice it, but others do, and they are drawn to you because in your presence, their burdens seem to vanish. Your innate and restorative energy serves as a diversion from the negativity of life, aiding in uplifting the spirits of others. If you are interested in consciously enhancing your healing abilities, consider seeking guidance from an experienced healer who can teach you safe techniques and guide you on the path of conscious healing. Being a strong dreamer is like having a special pass to the unseen realms where the soul and mind can be healed. Dreams act as a gateway taking you on nightly adventures in the astral planes surrounding our planet. These astral planes are a bridge between the spiritual and physical worlds, where dreams can manifest into reality. If your dreams are vivid and lively, if you often share your nightly experiences with loved ones, and if you have encountered departed loved ones or spiritual beings in your dreams, you are displaying signs of being a strong dreamer. Perhaps you have even received messages in your dreams that have guided you in waking life, or your dreams have provided glimpses into the future. Being a strong dreamer goes beyond getting a good night's sleep, it is a connection to the spiritual realm. Your dreams become a pathway to spirit, a source of healing, and a way to bring back insights that not only benefit you, but can also be a source of healing for others. So, if your dreams are more than just stories that play out during the night, Consider it another indication that you are a natural-born healer. If you have a strong aversion to seeing others in pain and an innate desire to assist, you may possess natural healing abilities on a soul level. However, it is important to handle this desire wisely as it can lead to challenges such as neglecting your own needs or becoming codependent in relationships. As a natural-born healer, you may find yourself constantly putting others before yourself and using your gift to aid them in their struggles. It is important to channel this healing energy appropriately, perhaps in a professional setting where your efforts are recognized. While it may be flattering to have strangers open up to you about their personal lives, it is crucial to set boundaries to avoid depleting your own energy. Remember, your healing energy has the power to attract those in need but it is important to balance helping others with preserving your own energy. 
This requires understanding when and how to establish healthy boundaries. As a healer, you possess a unique gift of perceiving and understanding the subtle energy that surrounds you. This energy can take on various forms, but you are most likely to notice it when you are in the company of others. For example, when you enter a room, you are able to instantly sense the energy that fills the space without any context. Your heightened sensitivity towards energetic shifts in people, animals, and places is due to your exceptional empathy. You have a tendency to absorb the emotions and feelings of others to such an extent that it can be difficult to distinguish them from your own. For instance, if you spend time with someone who is feeling sad, you may start to experience those same emotions yourself. However, this aspect of being a sensitive healer can also present significant challenges. Because you are so attuned to the feelings of others, you may feel a strong sense of responsibility to make them feel better. This can lead to people-pleasing tendencies and a heightened need for validation and approval from those around you. As a result, you may feel extra pressure to conform to other people's expectations and make them like you, which can be exhausting and emotionally draining. As a healer, it is natural to crave solitude, but this can sometimes result in prolonged periods of isolation that may be challenging to navigate. However, it is crucial to acknowledge that alone time is an essential and sacred aspect of being a healer. During these moments, you replenish your energy, allowing you to continue your work in the world. This is especially vital if your job requires you to be around others frequently or if you are constantly on the go. Being in the presence of others can be draining because, as a healer, you have an invisible antenna that continuously picks up on their energies. This can be exhausting, making it crucial to take time to recharge your batteries. Spending time alone also allows you to reconnect with your inner guidance. When you are in tune with your inner compass, you feel more in control of your daily life. This state of being helps you know when to avoid certain situations and when to withdraw your energy. It also enables you to be fully present in your interactions with others, as you have a better sense of boundaries and how to maintain your own energy while also being present for others. In the end, Taking the time for solitude and rejuvenation is a valuable investment in oneself and in the ability to serve others. This video was inspired by the incredible Dolores Cannon, whose work has had a profoundly positive impact on the spiritual community. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments and show your appreciation by leaving a like. As we conclude this enlightening journey, remember that these signs are guideposts, not definitive labels. Embrace the whispers of your soul, and if you resonate with the traits we have explored today, know that you are part of a profound cosmic lineage. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated on our cosmic explorations.